Look at you burying your head and nuzzling and being all lovey. You don't ever do that when anybody's around. Yeah, if somebody comes around, you get all macho, don't you? Yeah, you're not lovey like that. You don't want anybody to see you being all lovey. Do you? Do you, Fart? Yeah, you the man. You the man, Fart. Okay. Here we go. Ah. I may have to cut it all out, I don't know. I'm going in. They're going to have to do some of this from underneath. Do a little bit right here. I'm going in. Boy, it sure does feel good to be back out here in the shop banging on metal and getting my face all filthy and my hands all grimy and greasy and dirty and my arm ripped apart. Oh man, this is a lie. Okay, here's the hole. It's all cleaned out. Got that old support bracket out of there that was holding the other radiator. And I will show you what's going to go back in here. Some good, good stuff going to go back in here, ladies and gentlemen, and rat rotters of all ages. You know, I may, uh, I may spray that with some bed liner or something in here. I might build some panels over there and fill that out and spray this thing down and kind of make it look a little neater. I kind of like my Chevy uh, tailgate there. So um, if I stand that radiator up a little bit more, uh, you'll be able to see that's a, a Chevy tailgate. Um, also, the uh, trans cooler, that one is not going to go back in. I'll show you what I'm going to put in. Uh, let's take a look at some, some of the goodies. This radiator is a crossbow. It is three inches thick. And I just think that's gonna do the job. And these are spalls, these are really good fans. Chevaholic uh, turned me on to these. Uh, he said they they work real well. And he uh, advised me not to buy those cheapos that you get at AutoZone or O'Reilly's or anything like that so uh, what are some really good fans this is gonna 
Work out real well, I think. It fits this radiator perfectly. And, oh, also, this. Let me reach under the table here. This is my independent trans cooler. And uh, that little baby will be mounted independent from the radiator. And that should help the radiator cool better. It doesn't have to also cool the trans fluid. And... Uh, this should work better as well, being independent of the radiator. So I'm hoping anyway. I think it's going to be a really nice setup. I think it's going to work well. So, uh, boy, don't that purdy. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you the goodies that are going to go, go back into this thing uh, next week. i got to work, oh, maybe Monday and Tuesday. After that, I'm going to work nights out here. I'm going to work the night shift when it's a little cooler. And I got the big fan going over there and it's still not very cool in here. It's still hot. Hotter than blazes. I mean, I mean, I got, I'm, I'm, I'm busting beads, man. I'm busting beads. Alright. That's about enough. I just want to show you this stuff. Oh, I forgot to show you these mounting brackets. This one's got some really nice brackets on the on the outside. And I really like that. That's going to allow me to uh, mount it a lot nicer than the other one was because this one is plastic on each end. Ew, plastic, ew. So I won't be dealing with all that. Man, that's ugly. Okay, there it is. Now the pipes are plumbed so the water runs the right way through the radiator and the radiator is sitting as it would in front of the engine. And those thermostats on top, um, one for each fan, and that way I can have them come on sequentially. I'll have the first one kick on at about 190 and then if that doesn't do the job the other one can kick on a little bit behind that so we'll see how it goes but I think it's gonna work anyway it was uh, it was a chore to take that other one out and put this in but uh, as you can see well worth it all right appreciate you